Okay, okay, so this is a small tutorial on how to change your dynamic IP address to a static IP address and still get internet connection. So we're gonna do this really quick, it's really simple. So we're gonna start by going to the menu, the start menu actually, and we're gonna type CMD. We're gonna get the command line window. Uh, gonna resize it a little bit and we're gonna type the following command IP config space forward slash all enter and we'll get all this information about our um, our network connections so uh, since, since I'm from my laptop I'm actually oops, sorry I'm actually um, I'm actually gonna use my wireless LAN connection. So this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the IPv4 address, subnet mask, uh, default gateway, and the DNS server. These two addresses here. So now we're going again to start menu, control panel, view network status and tasks. And as you see, I have the wireless connection on. Uh, I don't have any other connection. Let's go to properties. Double click on IPv4, and you see I have dynamic, dynamic uh, IP address. So let's test first. So um, so there you go, and we have access to the internet. Okay, so now let's go back to our IPv4 properties window. So we're gonna click, we're gonna enable, use the following IP address, and by default it gets uh, the DNS server addresses get uh, able to get, uh, yeah, enabled to. So we're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna. Like I said, I'm gonna get the IPv4 address, which is which is 192.168.168.1. Subnet mask it gets um, automatically placed. Default gateway it's gonna be 192.168.1.1. Preferred DNS. It's going to be also 192.168.1.1. Oh, I'm sorry, 0.1, which is actually um, the default gateway, which is actually our internal our internal uh, address. I mean, actually, the modem, the modem ad address, the internal address. And the alternate DNS server, which is this one here, and it's the one that actually gives us access to the internet. And it's going to be 68. Point two thirty eight point sixty four point twelve. So we click OK, click OK again, we close it. Let's close this too. So you see, I still have connection. Uh, let's close this and let's try it again. So as you see guys, I have connection to the internet and I hope you find this really helpful uh, especially if you guys are thinking and, and uh, hosting your own website in your own computer, um, you will need to get a static IP address. So I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in another tutorial pretty soon, bye.